Hello everyone. Welcome to Building Your Authority. Today we're going to talk about YouTube and how you can use YouTube to leverage your business and be able to get your message out there. So I have five tips for you today on how we are going to master YouTube. Are you ready? I hope so. Let's get started. So the number one tip that I have for you is consistency is key. If you say you upload your videos every Monday at 5 p.m., you better believe you better have that video done every Monday at 5 p.m. This helps people learn to trust you. It builds your reliability with them and it builds your reputation that you are a quality person and that you can be trusted when you say you're going to do something. So your consistency is going to be key in building your trust and building that relationship with people because they want to see you on a regular. And the more you're consistent with it, the more content they have to binge watch. <laughs> so you definitely want to be consistent. Number two is a giveaway after you hit a certain number so a lot of people do it after like a thousand subscribers or ten thousand subscribers they're like hey i hit 10k i'm gonna do a giveaway that kind of rhymed right so <laughs> so what those are some of the things that you can do so if you don't have any subscribers right now I would say do a small giveaway at a hundred. So if you're, and, I, and by small, I mean you could do like a $20 gift card or um, if you have products that you sell already, give one of your products away. Give something that doesn't cost you very much money, but that entices people to subscribe and follow you and get more engaged with you and have them share it with three of their friends to be able to enter so that way you are getting promoted to audiences that weren't already a part of your traditional game. The second thing is to create a tribe. So I want you guys to give your people a name and a name that means something to them and a name that like, that kind of is, it's like easy, like my sabistas or um, my beautiful lovelies as one girl has it or um, my Bahati Vibe Tribe, or whatever your name for your people is, give them a name, because or your beehive, because everybody knows that Beyonce's beehive goes crazy for her, or Rihanna's navy, or how, however that is. But those tribes bring people together for a certain cause. So make sure you give your people a name. Number three is building a brand. So you want to make sure that your videos are always have a certain level of you in them. And, and that just comes from being authentic. So the brand that you're building with real estate is oftentimes yourself. It's often your own name. So why do people want to know, like, and trust you? Or I'm sorry, why do people what can you say to get people to know, like, and trust you? Because that is what the YouTube is all about. The more that they see you, the more they'll get familiar with you, and the more they're more likely they are to convert from you. And especially with real estate agents, you guys have such a wonderful deal that you can sell houses all over the all over the United States if you want to. So with that being said or have connections to your other real estate agents and other agent in other states and that way you guys can make deals and different things like that so with that being said you want as many people as possible to know like and trust you so the stories that you're telling that's why the hero's journey is so important here because the stories that you are telling are going to be fundamental to creating that know like and trust factor so another thing, number four that I have for you is to create how to get found is to create how to or five step videos because people, those are 
those are what people are going to be looking for how to sell a home how to buy a home how to choose a real estate agent how to um find the right property different things like that are going to be what people are searching into google and therefore into youtube and they will be able to find you if you have videos that are relevant to the things that they're very curious about so i would start off with if you don't know what to do do how to videos how i sold my first house how i became a real estate agent if you want to help other real estate agents or how i you know you guys you guys kind of get the you guys kind of get the gist with that so how to videos or four steps four steps to improve your income now or four steps to choose your choose the best broker whatever your steps are whatever your videos are those are how they're going to be able to find you because they're going to be searching hmm you have to think about your audience's pain points what are the problems that they have and then what knowledge do you have to be able to solve it so that is going to help you.